Tuesday, Broadway celebrates Hispanic Heritage Month with the second annual Viva Broadway free concert. Joining us live this morning to talk all things Broadway is mm -hmm. actress Bianca Marroquin and Martine Sainville from the Broadway League. Welcome, ladies. Good Thank morning. You. Thank you both so much for being here. So for people who've never participated in Viva Broadway, what is it, Bianca? Well, it's an extension of the Broadway League um, to let the Latino community know that we are present on Broadway, to let them know about the shows, the new shows, uh, discounts, tickets, news, anything pertaining to Broadway. But this is, Broadway is for everyone. And it's also like this concert that's happening to let them know um, about the other Latinos that are that are starring in all the, the different shows that are playing here, like Mean Girls and Lion King and Aladdin and Chicago. And so this concert is to reach out, it's free, mm -hmm. is to reach out to everyone and celebrate and support each other. And Martine, community. tell us a little bit about the concert. It's this Tuesday, where it is and how people can go. It's in Times Square, in Duffy Square, between 46th and 47th Street. It is free to the public. Um, and it starts at 5 o'clock, so Tuesday the 25th at 5 o'clock. And Bianca, let's talk a little bit about your career from Mexico. Mm -hmm. And you were last in Broadway as Roxy Hart in Chicago, <laughs> which yes. is amazing. But you also you started your career in Mexico City. How was that transition to go from there to here? And with Roxy. So yes. I was doing the show 17 years ago <laughs> as Roxy in Mexico in Spanish and then uh, the, I was invited to cross over in 2002 and I've been here ever since so but it is very different because it's two completely different cultures and uh, different languages the the comedy especially right. changes mm -hmm. and so I learned a lot and it's been interesting trying to keep a career in, in both countries at the same time it's a huge blessing I'm such a very very privileged and uh, I still part of the Chicago family after 16 years, so mm -hmm. I'm, I'm very lucky. That's fantastic. Now, we know that you wanted to do this since you were three years old. Yeah. So I'm just curious, <laughs> what kind of advice do you have for young people who dream to be you one day or um, on the stage? Well, you gotta really love it. Mm -hmm. You really gotta love it. And it, it takes a lot of discipline and, and focus and, and um, commitment. And it's a huge responsibility. You know, once you get to the place where, where God allows you to get, it's not only about you. Mm -hmm. It's about other people that are looking to, to you because they have the same dream that you had when you were three years old. So um, one advice I think is not to take anything personal. Mm -hmm. When you're in this business, you have to really create thick skin because there is a lot of rejection in it when you mm -hmm. go to the auditions and sometimes you don't get the part that you worked so hard to get. And it, you just have to get into your mind that it wasn't it um, probably the role for you at the time, but what did you learn right. from it right. and that, that journey and keep going because the right one will come mm -hmm. for you. There is a plan for you. You just have to trust that. And then Martine, let me ask you, the last season was the best attended mm -hmm in history. Talk a little bit about that and what advice do you have for families who want to bring children but sometimes tickets are really expensive. What's the best way to, to come see well, a show? I would say the first thing is it's it's there's so much variety on Broadway so there's something for everybody so and I think there is a misconception that tickets are out of reach but the thing is 80% of the shows the average price is about $130 that means there are a lot of tickets that are less than that mm -hmm. um, and so it's it takes a little work do a little research on the internet go to the box office go right to the box office and ask them do you have a lower price ticket um, and there are discounts out there um, there are different programs out there if you go to broadway.org we have some things going on there so just to take a look around um, because the tickets are available and the houses are not arenas Broadway houses um, there's so many great seats so yeah. people don't have to be afraid that oh if I pay less for a ticket that I'll get a bad seat that's not true but Tuesday is free. That's yes. what everybody needs to know. Thank you, ladies. That's right. so Thank much. you so much. Thank you. We appreciate it. Now, Viva Broadway is the concert is this Tuesday, September 25th at 5 p.m. in Times Square. And you can find out more information on our website, cbsnewyork.com.